Hey guys, it's Harleywood. Today I want to let you in on the development and the progress of my medical kit. So this bag here is the range responder bag from Voodoo Tactical and I saw uh, Black Scout Survival had one similar and in fact it might even be the same bag. Um, I know there's some question on his video as to what bag it actually was, he couldn't remember, but I think this is the same bag. I'm actually fairly impressed with the quality for a $60 bag. and. Um, I've packed my medical kit in here and everything that I bought, I bought from a company called Chinook Medical. And one of the unique things about their their business model, so to speak, is the website allows you to buy um, single units. So if you need, you know, gauze patches or or stuff like that, you can buy them in whatever quantities you want, anywhere from one to, you know, how, however high you want to go. Uh, I think they do have a minimum purchase amount on their website of like $25. but that's pretty easy to do. And the other thing I like from Chinook Medical is that they have pre-built packs. So let's go ahead and get into this and I'll show you what I mean by those pre-built packs. I'm gonna get into the main compartment here first and on this particular bag, it almost has like a rain fly that helps to keep moisture and, and water from getting inside the zippers. So that's kind of a cool feature. So let's lift the flap up, unzip this, and these are what I mean by the pre-packaged kits. So you can see this one here is the meds pack and you can see the ingredients on there. Sorry, the reflection of the light there. But inside of here is acetaminophen, aspirin, um, basically some antidiarrheals, some antihistamines, stomach, anti-inflammatories, and some hydration powder right there in the meds pack. So that's one item I have in here. Um, another nice thing about how they do this is not only do they put them in these you know kind of ziploc bags that are actually sealed so the, zip, the ziploc bag is uh, kind of got a melt seal on the top this would be good for water collection because inside is another thicker ziploc Let's see if you can see that here on the video see the other darker one inside of there so you have another zipper uh, compartment inside of there this one is the wound pack and inside of that let me get a screenshot of the contents. You can pause the video if you want to read it. Okay. Uh, it's, all of these packs have gloves in them. So this has gloves, a 5x9 trauma pad, 30 band-aids, 6 knuckle band-aids, 6 moleskins, iodine, stretch gauze, uh, surgical tape, suture strips, non-inherent dressing, sterile gauze, personal antimicrobial wipes, um, more iodine prep pads, cortisone cream, triple antibiotic ointment, and sterile syringes, all inside of the wound pack. Okay. Next, I have the burn pack. There's the ingredients. And it comes with nitrile gloves again, a 2x6 burn dressing, a 4x4 burn dressing, a uh, burn gel, surgical tape, and stretch gauze, all inside one of those same packages. Next, I have the germ pack. There you can see the contents. And it's got a biohazard waste bag, a CPR mask, a respirator mask, nitrile gloves, and antimicrobial wipes. Here we have the bleeder pack. There's your ingredients or your, your contents. It is nitrile gloves, a SWAT T tourniquet, quick clot, blood stopper trauma dressing, and compression gauze. I'm telling you guys, this is, this is the way to go. But I'm gonna show you how else you can order from their website here in just a minute. Now this one has too much. I'm not gonna read down this entire list. This is the minimalist pack, okay? There's your contents. You can pause the video and, and read through that if you want. But this kind of has a mixture of everything that you saw in these other packs. I mean, it has stuff from the burn pack. It has stuff from the bleeder pack. It has gloves again. It has the medicines like ibuprofen all in here. Even if you just carry this, you're in a much better place than having nothing at all. So this one's called the minimalist pack. Now, uh, currently I have a deal set up with a promo code. If you use the promo code Harleywood on their website, when you purchase, you will get um, a discount or or a free item. Currently, I believe it's a $20 off on $200, subject to change at any time, okay? This here, th these packs range anywhere from $19 on up to, you know, 30 something dollars. 
you know, when you get to throwing things in there like SWAT tourniquets and stuff like that, obviously the prices are going to go up a little bit. But this is an amazing idea. One-stop shopping. You don't have to build it yourself. However, if you want to, that segues into the next part of this. So let's get in the front of the bag here. Now I've added some of my own stuff. Obviously they don't sell Walgreens bandages, but I did have a box and I took some of the items that they did offer and filled up this Walgreens Band-Aid box with other bandages. And here's what I mean by some of the individual things that you can buy. Here's a petroleum gauze strip. It's just an individual unit. I have an emergency blanket. Tons of sterile pads, okay? Uh, just gauze pads, compression pads. And then bandages, moleskin, a whole package of bandages and moleskin. And you can buy these individually, so you just basically put on there how many you want, and they'll package them up for you. And the side pockets here, I bought, this is an absorbent foam dressing, and then just uh, some bandage, or a medical tape. On this side, I bought some additional burn products. So here's burn dressings. You have a burn gel and two burn pads that have dressing impregnated into them. Again, they all come in these bags. This one's not, you know, kind of a melt sealed on it, um, but good for water storage if you needed it in an emergency. And I think that, oh, I might have some stuff in the back here. So it's got another similar compartment on the back here. And I bought more um, emergency bandages, trauma wound bandages. So, guys, if you're not carrying a medical kit, now I carry a first aid kit, um, I have for years, but I've recently started realizing that I could be the first one to show up on an accident scene, and I could need to offer treatment to somebody. Um, even if it's something like just an emergency blanket and some of these compression wound bandages to stop bleeding or a tourniquet, if you're the first one on the scene, um, let's say there's a nurse that shows up on the scene or an ER doctor and they don't have anything with them. There may even be items in these bags that you don't know how to use. Now, obviously, I would go get training in any of the items that you decide to carry. I'm very soon gonna go to the um, Patriot Nurses course and I would advise that you guys all do something similar. But if you don't know how to use some of the products that you have in this bag, there is a good likelihood that somebody might show up on the scene that does know how to use it. and you could save a life just by having something like this with you. So I think in total here, again, I kind of built it myself with the exception of these prepackaged solutions, but I got to choose all of the prepackages that I wanted. And I think they even have one called the six pack and it's six of their most popular packs like this. I mean, again, guys, they make it so easy. You can buy full kits on their website with, you know, all kinds of different backpacks, Pelican cases. Um, I mean, get as crazy or as simple as you want to but I would really suggest that you start to carry something with you. Start small, buy a bag. Okay, this bag was $60. You can find cheaper bags. Um, there's, you know, decently looking medical bags that are red with, you know, big first aid crosses and stuff like that for 30 bucks on Amazon. So buy yourself a bag, start there. And then go through your closet and steal some of your wife's bandages and throw those in there and just build from there. I think in all, I probably have I have $60 in the bag, probably a hundred, 120 bucks in the supplies from Chinook Medical. And I'm gonna keep building from there. Uh, I'm gonna buy some more stuff from their site now that I see the quality of it. When I started pulling all this out of the box, uh, first thing I, I started doing was building another cart. I gotta buy more. This is a, a great start, but um, I think there's a few other things that I wanna add in here. So that's it, guys. If you have any suggestions on other things you think I can add, this is still a work in progress. I'd be happy to hear your suggestions. I also want to give a shout out to Draylon77. If you're not familiar with his channel, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. He's got some great series on, you know, medical bags, truck bags, uh, blowout kits, stuff like that. So he's he's kind of got me on this kick, and I appreciate his his advice and his input. Um, again, promo code Harleywood. Don't put the 23 on it, just Harleywood at ChinookMed.com and start building your kit. You'll never regret it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button below and we'll see you on the next one.